Hey guys, Miles Somerville here with XDA TV. And over the years, smartphones have become a lot more powerful. And soon enough, it just might take over the market of the desktop computer. There have been many attempts from third party developers to take the power of Android phones and turn them into desktop computers. There's Remix OS, which gives your tablet an intuitive desktop like PC experience with the combination of the Android app ecosystem. And there's also Mario OS, which favors more to Linux users, giving you a Linux desktop like experience when plugging your phone into a monitor via HDMI. This company called Andronium started a wildly successful Kickstarter page to fund their project called the Superbook. The Superbook is essentially a laptop shell that you plug your phone into to more or less bring it to life. The Superbook is literally just a display with a keyboard and trackpad and your phone provides all the power. Something like this is pretty exciting to see because like I said, the more powerful our phones get, the less we'll feel the need to shell out hundreds to thousands of dollars on laptops and desktops. So while you can't get the Superbook yet, Andronium has created something of an alternative just to show you what your phone is capable of. Today we're going to be taking a look at Andronium OS where you essentially do the same thing as the Superbook but using hardware you already own. So to set this up, all you have to do is download the app from the Play Store, connect to whatever Bluetooth devices you want to use, restart your phone, and you should be up and running. You can connect your phone to the computer using an HDMI adapter, but I decided to cast my screen to the monitor using my Chromecast, and this is what the developers recommend. So there isn't that much built into the mini OS, as this is still fairly new, but there are a few little neat things in here. So there are about six apps built into Andromium in total, the first one being the browser. It's nothing special really, but it gets the job done. You can add bookmarks, have multiple tabs open, and video playback is surprisingly smooth on the device and on the casted display. Next up we got the Andromium File Explorer. There really isn't that much to talk about here. It's clean, you can access all the files and folders in the device, and it does pretty much everything you need it to do. Andromium has also included built-in video and music players. The video player is pretty good, there really isn't any lag when playing back videos, and it opens with the most common file types with no issues. The music player, while it can open files, the playback is very bad. You can only get semi-clear audio for about 15 seconds before it starts to stutter and lag. Andromium also has a calculator and Minesweeper, which I have no idea how to play. So when it comes to the UI, it has a taskbar at the bottom of the screen where you can access docked apps, as well as your keyboards, the Wi-Fi, battery, and even your notifications. So this app still has a ways to go before it can be considered desktop replacement material. And to be honest, I'd have zero use for something like this right now. But if they continue to flesh this out over time, I'm sure they can make this into something pretty cool. So if you want to try this out for yourself, there will be a link in the description down below. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.